having had cancer and dealt with it, you do feel that you've got a new lease of life, doing as much sport as I ever did. For many people, it is uh, initially a devastating uh, concept. The reality, however, for the majority of men, that certainly that we see, that prostate cancer may well not be a lethal disease for them. The main treatments are either to remove it with radical surgery um, or to treat it with high-dose radiation, and that can be done with uh, external beam radiotherapy, brachytherapy, inserting radioactive seeds inside the prostate, or sometimes a combination of the both. That's a good girl. What with me? I did need to uh, get the cancer treated. It was a no-brainer for me. I just thought that was it, go for brachytherapy. Brachytherapy is a very successful treatment and it is a cure for prostate cancer. We're not looking at buying time or slowing things down. Inserting the radioactive seeds into the prostate gland, it allows us to give a very high radiation dose to the prostate, but spare the surrounding tissues and so minimise the side effects. When my brother was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer, I decided that perhaps I should just get a test, just to see. That's a good girl. My other brother is a GP and he got a test as well, in fact. And his turned out to be negative, but mine turned out to be positive. I've been a pilot for 36 years, very career. The fact they took my licence away straight away was a bit of a shock because I was the same person the day after I've been diagnosed as I was the day before. Hello again, Mr Bert. How are you today? We often have long conversations with men on the phone before they even get to clinic, discussing the options and their lifestyle and really if anything's going to change afterwards. It's highly unlikely that they're going to experience incontinence. Less than 1% of our patients do at any time. And the vast majority of our patients, over 82%, can uh, retain their erections as well. All the evidence was that with brachytherapy, the risk was very low. For most patients, this is a relatively minor operation. There are no great incisions or wounds to recover from. Indeed, patients frequently are treated as a day case or at most an overnight stay. I actually felt quite strange, really, because I'd been prepared with the gown. But of course, I'm still perfectly fit and they have to wheel you down. You're not allowed to walk. I'm still traveling all around the world. It was nice to get back into the air, actually. That makes me feel that maybe it will be difficult to retire. Two and a half years ago, I had um, prostate cancer and I've had a, a minor op and now I haven't got prostate cancer.